Hi, this is Dr. Ram here. So I'm going to explain you about VQ mismatch, the ventilation, the perfusion ratio. So what is ventilation? The moving of fresh air into the alveoli. What is perfusion? The blood flow through the tissues. Fine. So these are the cells that are in need of oxygen. So for example, I have drawn some 10 molecules of oxygen here. These oxygen should be carried over in the blood with the help of red blood cells, these oxygen are delivered to the tissues. Am I right? So if the cells need good amount of oxygen delivery, you need a good ventilation as well as and you need a good perfusion and they must be equal so that the cells get good oxygen supply. What if suppose you have less ventilation? For example, instead of 10 molecules, you have only two molecules. Or what if you have very less blood supply, the oxygen delivery to the tissues decreases resulting in hypoxia. In other words, I can say the ventilation and the perfusion must be good and equal so that the tissues get good oxygen supply. See my notes here. So when the ventilation and perfusion is good and equal, there is increase in the oxygen content of a blood. This results in increased oxygen delivery to the tissues. What if there is ventilation and the perfusion is not equal? Either the ventilation is low or the perfusion is low that results in VQ mismatch. That results in decreased oxygen content of a blood resulting in decreased oxygen delivery to the cells that we call it as hypoxia clear okay i'm going to ask you one question is this vq mismatch normal in our lungs yes it is normally happening in our lungs when we stand in the upright position this vq mismatch happens in the upper and lower lobes I'm going to explain you why is that. Imagine you are in a standing position so that the gravity acts on your lungs and pulls the lungs downward. First, let us see how the perfusion varies from the top to bottom of a lungs. So you can see that the perfusion is very much increased in the lower lobe than the upper lobe. And it is very low in the upper lobe and moderate in the middle lobe. Why is that? Because of gravity. Okay. Now, when talking about ventilation, is there any relation between air and gravity? I can say the ventilation is still increased in the lower lobe, like the perfusion, and very low in the upper lobe, and moderate in the middle lobe. Why is that? Imagine our lung to be a spring like this because the lungs are elastic. And this lungs is suspended above by the pleural membrane to the chest wall cavity and the gravity is pulling down so that you can see the lung are more opened in the upper lobe and very compressed in the lower lobe. If you see the alveoli in the lower lobe, it is so much compressed at the resting state. The alveoli in the upper lobe is much more bigger because it contains more air because the upper lobe is not so much compressed like in lower lobe. I will explain you this. So this is the alveoli in the lower lobe and this is the alveoli in the upper lobe. For example, in resting state, the residual volume here, for example, is 10 ml of air. Here you have 50 ml of air, for example. When you start to breathe, this alveoli accommodates 90 ml of air and this alveoli gets in 40 ml of air. So now you can clearly understand that this alveoli ventilation is higher. This alveoli ventilation is lower than this alveoli. So the lower lobe of the lungs gets good amount of air when compared to the upper lobe. I hope you are clear with this. So what you have seen so far on going down the lungs, the perfusion is increased.
on going down the lungs the ventilation is also increased now we are going to compare the ventilation and the perfusion and we'll see whether there is mismatch when you compare the ventilation perfusion in the upper lobe perfusion is lot more decreased than the ventilation in other words the ventilation is somewhat higher than the perfusion when the numerator is high the ratio will be greater than 1 okay let's see in the lower lobe it's exactly opposite to that the perfusion is so much high in the lower lobe when compared to the ventilation so when the perfusion is so much high when denominator is so much high it is less than 1 so the VQ ratio is less than 1 in the lower lobe when you talk about the middle lobe the ventilation is high as well as the perfusion is high so the ventilation and the perfusion is good and equal so that the ratio is approximately equal to 1 so you can see that there is VQ mismatch happening in the upper lobe as well as the lower lobe and the middle lobe has good VQ match okay last point to understand what is dead space and what is shunt dead space happening normally in the upper lobes what is that when I compare the ventilation and the perfusion when the ventilation is higher than the perfusion we can call it as wasted ventilation this condition is called dead space what is shunt when I compare ventilation and perfusion if a perfusion is increased than the ventilation we can call it as wasted perfusion this condition is called shunt so dead space happening in your upper lobe and shunt happens in your lower lobe okay so what is the take home point so on moving from upper to lower lobe your ventilation as well as your perfusion increases remember your perfusion is very high in the lower lobe when compared to the ventilation so the ratio is less than one this condition is called shunt in the upper lobe your ventilation is higher than your perfusion so the ratio is greater than one this condition is called dead space and number two on moving from upper to lower lobe what happens to your vq ratio it decreases so this is the take home point thank you see you with more interesting videos